Hey guys, Baz here. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in, I guess would be the incorrect term. So thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, reason it's been a while, I got married. So that's kind of epic. And uh, got, we actually bought a house, so that's pretty awesome too. Which is why I haven't been around and lack of updates and all that fun jazz. But you would have known that if you watched my update video, so... Thanks, thanks again, guys, for being patient. Um, this is uh, one of my matches that I did about two and a half days ago. I thought it was really good. Uh, it's kind of a long one, but that's okay because it's it's a pretty epic, epic, uh, epic match here. So we're gonna get started here. We're I'm going to be scouting, which you kind of have to if you're versus a Terran player. Honestly, you kind of have to scout with any race, but Terran especially, because they just have so much versatility beginning, mid, and end game. It's not even funny. Always, always scout if you're a Protoss versus a Terran, because they're, I mean, they could go mass marines, and, or go like mass vikings, or hell, they could even do reaper rush, which you don't see that too much, honestly, you, you really don't. But, um, yeah, just, just always scout if you are a Protoss player, because since most of your units are um, a little more expensive than the normal than the other races, and you can only have so many of them because they're so expensive in the very early start, it's really good to know what your opponent's going to get so you can counter that very effectively and quick. Got my assimilator going up here, so uh, I am going to be doing my standard opening where I go from my gate to my assimilator, then to another pylon. I'm actually going to be blocking off my ramp. Um, I've actually been doing this as a habit now. Um, it's helped me actually win a lot of games, especially versus the Zerg. Because for some reason, a lot of Zerg players are going six pool rushing, which pisses the, me off to no end. Uh, it's it's my least favorite thing to lose to. It's just retarded. Um, yes, it's in the game. I know. I probably should not cry about it, but it pisses me off, so screw you. Um, honestly, I love his placement of, the, uh, of his bunker. I mean, that is just amazing. Right there, he has all all sides covered. If I try and blink snockers up that way, he has me covered. Um, Zealous, he has me covered. He, he has me covered on all four sides, which, excellent placement of the Munker. And my probe is actually going to go down right here. Unfortunately, I was not really paying attention, and my probe died. So I, I lost my scout, but I, I should have brought him in there to see what he was doing, but that's okay. Uh, Colonel boosting that first Zealot there. Uh, I'm going to get my Cybernex Core out. And I did cancel my Zealot because I did uh, want to save my Minerals for a Stalker. I have a double uh, second gas actually going up. Um, I have been using this build for uh, since release. Um, it, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a standard build that I kind of modified a little bit. Um, I will wall off my base and go right into... Uh, double gas and start pumping out uh, either stalkers um, if I know the Terran player is uh, getting like siege tanks or something or I will um, kind of go into a rush a four gate rush three gate rush kind of like that but uh, since I didn't really know what he was getting I was playing it safe so I only went to uh, a two gate and uh, I got my warp gate uh, technology being researched right now and uh, yeah I apologize what I definitely hit the wrong button. My bad. My bad. Uh, this is my first cast. Give me a break, guys. Not my first. Shut up, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, let's check the unit thing here. Um, I'm a little behind on the uh, worker count, but honestly not too far far behind. Uh, army size-wise, uh, I definitely have the advantage because one zealot can take out uh, two to three marines, depending if the player can macro or not. Um, one stalker can take out almost four marines if you do it properly um he does have a factory he is researching siege so he is going to be going siege tanks which is bad because protoss and siege tanks usually don't mix well because i mean how would you feel if you got high caliber bullets shot into your chest come on all right i uh, got my robot robotics facility going up um, due to my lack of uh not scouting i'm getting that up as soon as possible to get out some ob observers and uh, I'm going to be placing them, uh, hopefully, all over the map if I'm smart. But uh, uh, he actually scouted my base. Um, thankfully, he can't really see most of it. He did not scout in the correct order. 
Yeah, he can't actually see any of my base at all. The only thing he sees is I have two gas, and, I mean, he, he, yeah, he, he can't see anything. Um, I, looks like I'm going to be actually teching two, two, holy crap, I cannot talk, two colossi, excuse me guys, I'm sorry, I've been a little under, uh, under the weather, my allergies have been really killing me, so, if I, uh, stumble over my words, I apologize. Anyway, uh, I am actually going to try and, uh, knock on his front door here, unfortunately, I do not know that he has a bunker, or, I honestly don't know what he has, uh, cause I did not scout properly, again, to begin with. Uh, I do know that he has his front door blocked off and then his command center, and that's all I know about. So uh, we're going to see how this battle plays out here. Uh, he's still not made any siege tanks, even though he researched siege. He's got two star ports with reactors, so I guess he's going to be doing mass vikings and probably medevacs and possibly just massing marines and then trying to harass. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, my observer is finally in the base, so I actually know what he's going to do. Oh, crap, Fusion Core. Uh, probably Battlecruisers. I'm hoping they he doesn't make Battlecruisers, but generally if someone makes a Fusion Core, you gotta have Battlecruisers. Alright, so I got my Guardian Shield up to reduce the damage. Uh, bunker is actually um, mowing down my units. I'm trying to get into it as fast as possible. Let's see if this bumper, bu bumper, bunker can actually go down. This is actually be really close. SCV is actually repairing the uh, Supply Depot. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Oh, oh my... 24 HP. 24 HP. Oh, that was a close one. Wow. Unfortunately, he's right. I did have two, two few units. If, if I had one more unit, I would have been able to break that wall. But I get a warp prism going out. Um, probably going to be trying to do some backdoor harassment by uh, turning on the, uh, the prism ability and warping in units. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, generally with the Terran, since he is um, getting a bunch of marines... That doesn't usually work too well because he can make more marines than I can make zealots or stalkers or whatever you know I'll be warping in. Two more barracks going up, so it looks like he is going to do the uh, MM. I don't see marauders, so it's just MM. Marines and medevacs, not MM and M. No, not the candy. Marines, marauders, and medevacs. That honestly is a standard play. He actually can't see me until I actually warp in the units. So I, I did see he was getting Vikings, so I warped in some stalkers. Apparently he thinks warp gates are bad. We're going to actually see how this battle plays out. I don't think I have enough forces to actually take this out. No, I do not. Uh, I have enough forces to take these out, but unfortunately he's going to pull his marines from the bunkers uh, to, help, um, to help the Vikings, and my forces go down. Unfortunately, I made the bad decision of warping in zealots, and yeah, I, I just get completely owned right there. Uh, is that warp prism going to survive? Let's see. Is he going to... Oh, no, it does not. Poor warp prism. Those are actually one of my favorite units in StarCraft II. Um... If you guys actually uh, were following the development of this of this game at all, Warp Prisms actually had some really cool abilities, as did Phoenix. And I guess I took him out thinking it wasn't going to be that uh, a, a fair or effective. I actually kind of uh, would have liked to see um, the abilities that they had and see how they actually played out in the actual game. But what can you do? You really can't change Blizzard's mind. Uh, worker count is even. Uh, neither of us have expanded. Keep that in mind. We are both doing this off of a one base one base uh, game here we actually I see vikings actually sneaking around on the right side going up to try to harass my base but I, I'm I'm not sure if I saw this or not uh, we'll see if I yes I did see it I did see it because I did warp in stalkers so I am reacting accordingly and I'm also making more observers to place on the left and right of my base to actually um, make sure that he is not going to be trying sneaking up on me on uh, either side um, I actually have uh, been using observers a heck of a lot more than I did in the beta and all that fun stuff and here we go Vikings are going to start their harassing the murder line probes definitely need to be starting moving off the line there they go they're gone uh, these stalkers are going to be able to completely just take care of the vikings um stalkers basically just versus vikings they're the better unit shields plus hp and uh attack is just completely better than the viking is uh viking harass works a lot better if you have